Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It feels so weird to be finally sitting down and filming a sit down video. It's probably been about, oh, like four months. I think since Vlogmas last December, um, I've probably filmed one sit down video as far as I remember. That was in a hotel room back in January and now here I am again at home in April. I have no idea what to call this video because it's very different for me. It's kind of a decluttering, well, extreme decluttering slash speed cleaning slash spare bedroom makeover, but it's not really a bedroom because there's no bed in it. Um, sorting out my makeup, like storage slash collection. It's everything rolled into one. So basically I have spent all of this year pretty much traveling and um, it's been absolutely wonderful one of the best starts to any year i've ever had to be honest i spent the whole of january pretty much in dublin and then i was home for most of february because i had a lot of like events and stuff going on um at the weekends and things like that but in between we went to paris for 24 hours and then i spent most of march back in dublin and obviously traveling around ireland and then we came back and we went to brussels so we've literally just not been at home and it's been a little bit crazy because obviously when you are only home for like two or three days or like not even a week in between traveling you tend to just unpack your suitcase dump everything do the laundry and do a quick turnaround and pack up again and like jet off again and so stuff just keeps building up and obviously I'm quite fortunate to be sent like not as much blog and mail as I used to be sent because I say no to a lot more things now but I do get sent a fair bit of makeup and a fair bit of just stuff through the post and quite often I won't even know what's arriving so it will just turn up and it will be a surprise and if I'm completely honest anything that I've been sent this whole year I haven't tested I don't think there's anything like beauty wise that I've had a chance to test maybe unless it was like lipsticks and things like that because I've just been traveling and you know when I get sent skincare I don't want to like test out new skincare when I'm off for a month like what if it doesn't work for my skin and like you know I'm just carrying extra products and things like that like in my luggage and it's not really ideal so I've just had stuff sitting here piling up and I'm home alone today it's a Saturday well it's afternoon now and I probably only have about three hours because I'm going out later on but Jess has gone to India for about just under two weeks for a family wedding and I thought I would tackle our spare bedroom as kind of a bit of a surprise for him but also just because it really needs to be done um while he's away I'm very apprehensive like worried about filming this video because my spare bedroom is a tip it is my monica closet and nobody ever sees it whenever people come around to our house that door is always closed nobody's really allowed inside it anymore it's just where we just gather all of our junk and it just it just sits there and over the years like since i've been doing youtube i will always get requests from you guys um mainly on instagram to be honest asking to see like you know makeup tutorials product reviews certain vlogs or whatever and i have always tried to give you guys the content you want there has been one thing that i swear to god if i had a pound for every time somebody requested this I probably have about 100 quid by now which is quite a lot people have always asked to see like my makeup storage and my makeup collection and that's just one thing i've never filmed because it's not organized this room is a tip but quite honestly there was a time in my life where i was doing so much beauty content that i'd get so much beauty blogger mail and it is never ending and so you know like i just I'd be so overwhelmed that I would just shove things in drawers and like just never really get around to tidying it up. So today is probably that day. Um, I'm gonna stop waffling because I thought I'd give you a bit of a life update and like do this. I don't really know how I'm doing this video because it's all very like unusual for me. But yeah, let's go and do this. Let me see how much I can get done in like two or three hours and oh, wish me luck. Eek. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> let's go into my spare bedroom. So I've left all the lights on just so I can show you. Um, let's start off at this end. So this side of the room is from when I was a makeup artist. I was a freelance makeup artist for about six or seven years. I used to work from home and my spare bedroom was essentially my makeup studio. So if I just take you from here, these were the Hollywood lights and the mirrors and stuff like that. That was my setup. Um, I kind of made, I didn't make this, but um, Jas and a friend helped build this sort of table for me. It was a 
random plank of wood. I think it was like a kitchen cabinet sort of larder door thing in the clearance section of Ikea. We just kind of used that as like a worktop table surface and bought some legs, which you'll see, like table legs, um, which you'll see here. There we go. But like I said, this setup was all from when I was a makeup artist. I used to have bar stools here so I could do my clients makeup, they could see in the mirror and all the rest of it. I'm sure you know how that works. <laughs> you can see that we covered this worktop surface in like marble contact paper and underneath I've got these, um, they're like the hairdresser wheelie trolley things from when I used to have a salon years ago. That's just full of clutter but I'm not going to touch that today. There's a dustbin, there's some storage boxes full of um, some makeup that I think I decluttered already like bit by bit. This is like in a really weird order, I apologise, but there's probably no easy way of me showing you this. So I have one set of Alex drawers here, that is all full of makeup. On top of it is like just basically makeup. Um, these are bits that I've just recently purchased, my everyday makeup because I've been living out of a suitcase recently, some bits I've been sent that I don't know what to do with because that was an entire range of concealers. This is some acrylic storage from Muji um, and bits that were like in my advent calendars, PR stuff, brushes, just stuff is everywhere. So the stuff that's out on display kind of needs to be sorted through and there's no rhyme or reason why this is all here, it's just there for now. In this corner here, oh, walk into the door. This is a random like laptop table that I used to have. I used to use it to take my blog photos and as you can see, there's some like photography props here. All my like sort of backdrops um, that I used to use, like card, tiles and things like that. On top of it is like a ton of blog mail that I've received and I haven't even like had a chance to test it out. Um, initially I thought I'd start piling it up there so that it's kind of in sight and it reminds me to start using it and testing products out but that never really happened because that all started overflowing. I started piling stuff up at the bottom here, stuff around the corner there which you'll see in a bit and in the living room. There's just loads of stuff that's been piling up. So yeah, I'm gonna have to sort through this. As you walk into the room, this is on the left hand side. There's a few bits on the walls. This is what you see on the left hand side. Now straight in front of you, this is really weird but Jas and I put up a rolly blind, like a blackout blind on the wall. That was so that I'd have a crisp white backdrop to film my um, beauty videos again. I don't think I can roll that up because the blind's a bit faulty or whatever, so that's just gonna stay. But as you can see, this room is very small, so there's not a lot of space in here. That's one of my softbox lights. You'll see the rest in a minute. This is like a foldy uppy table that I got from Argos. And it's, again, I used to use it like to lay out all my makeup when I was filming. Um, I also used to take blog photos on it. That's my mirror that I used to use for filming there and there's just a lot of stuff like paperwork I get like press releases and things like that Dress has piled some of his paperwork and like camera stuff and sunglasses there's, there's just a lot of clutter basically and if I swivel you around to this side this is kind of Jas's side so when I stopped being a makeup artist <laughs> and I started working from home I had a desk and it all used to look very pretty and I used to sit at this desk and work from it and then Jas started working from home quite a lot and he needed like two or three screens because he has like two laptops and that TV screen that he uses as a monitor all the rest of it so I gave up my desk for him and he oh god like I'm not a hoarder um, I know that this vlog will probably tells you otherwise but I'm not really a hoarder I'm quite good at getting rid of stuff whereas he struggles with that a lot and he goes to a lot of his own events so he gets so much clutter like his events like they're like marketing events so he gets tons of like USBs power banks like stress balls just like loads of crap like with people's like company logos on and a lot of it is like you know mugs and just stuff that we wouldn't use and so he does get rid of it bit by bit but he does keep some of it for like whatever you know he needs it for so I'm not actually allowed to touch this side because I promised him that I wouldn't while he was away um it does drive me insane but to be honest if 
if it's just this part of the room that's messy by the time I'm done, I'm not going to be too upset about that because, you know, the rest of it will be clean. That box with all those books on top is his. And <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff underneath there too. We've got two of these white chairs in this room. Um, they're from our dining table next door, but um, this was meant to be his office chair. I just don't think it fits underneath that ikea table or it's not very comfortable i think that table's quite small so i'm not sure why he's kept it there but on top of that chair and yeah just on top of the chair he's got some of his bits and pieces there too and he's also got quite a lot of crap on the window still too and that is uh, like again just paperwork and bits and bobs and i don't really know what that is okay let me swivel you around to this side um here is my ring light my tripod and my other softbox light. This room is very small as you can see, so there's literally just nowhere to put this stuff. In that corner, we have a bookcase, which is, I'm not gonna touch that. It's relatively organized, I'd say. It's just like paperwork and, you know, like house admin -y bits and things like that that we need. I have a collection in that little red box of envelopes because Obviously, I'm very fortunate to get like blog and mail and I always keep packaging because I like to sell stuff on eBay, whether it's obviously like clothes, shoes or whatever in the house that I don't want. I try and sell it on eBay and, you know, like recycle packaging when you can um, and all that sort of jazz. So I keep all of that um, in this corner. Oh, this corner is the bane of my life, honestly. This bag and that bag, bag there and a couple of boxes. This is all like stuff that I've accumulated for eBay. So Jas had a big wardrobe clear out. I Marie kondo my wardrobe a long time ago and I try and sell like our clothes. Like I sell them on eBay, but I try and sell them at the right season. So if there's like jumpers in there, I'm not really gonna sell them until autumn now because people aren't really gonna spend money on jumpers at the moment. That's what I try and do anyway. So even though it doesn't really look organized, it kind of is. <laughs> there's some Christmas presents and some blogger mail on that and on top of that suitcase. And in that suitcase, oh my God, is more stuff for eBay. Again, I think it's just mine and Jas's clothes or shoes and there's bits of beauty in there. Again, I'm not gonna go through that like today, but I will at some point. I just need to somehow tidy this up. And on top of these boxes, just here, those two pink things are some blogger mail. Okay, so moving on to this side of the room, um, we have two sets of Alex drawers. I would say about 80% of the stuff in these drawers is makeup. We do have a couple of like miscellaneous drawers for like tech stuff, um, just like Jas's bits and pieces. So I'm not gonna organize these at all. If I find stuff over there on the table that I can sort of slot into a drawer for now, I will. I feel like today all I'm gonna achieve is like cleaning the room on the surface, just tidying it up, not actually decluttering my makeup properly and organizing it all i will have to save that for a different video i think on the sides of the drawers are like more photography backdrops here i've got oh god photography backdrops my ring light portable carry case and that big white thing that kind of looks like a vase is my old tripod we've kept the old tripod because if ever i want to travel with it it doesn't weigh much whereas this one which is my proper man photo one is extremely good quality but it weighs a ton and i wouldn't want to travel with it anyway on top of the alex drawers we have a printer i don't know why because it stopped working or we have no ink or whatever a long time ago i don't know that's not really my problem right now we have a lot of sellotape and just miscellaneous stationary bits like i don't know like string um all this sort of stuff and i think these are just empty boxes that i've kept along with that gift bag that has nothing in it and this is just a box that i keep full of all my empties in life so i need to film a video on this actually because there's a lot of empty products building up oh and the back of the door um are just bags and I don't know random stuff so let me just do a quick 360 just to show you this room is pretty small um, and it's very very messy so I don't actually have very long today and I think all I can get done hopefully is this side of the room and this I'm not allowed to touch this that I can't really do much with because I need to use it and I hate packing it up and like um you know bringing it back out again, so I don't know what I'll do with that. Um, I'm not too worried about this side, to be honest. Um, I think my main focus is just here. So I think that what I'm gonna do is just put you down and just show you me 
show you me cleaning um, and I'm just gonna like speed it all up because I've seen videos like that and they really are motivational so I hope you guys feel the same way if there are certain things that I want to stop and show you in between then I will or maybe I'll do it all at the end so in a second I'm gonna go and grab like a bag for rubbish a bag for charity and a bag for recycling I want to box or something to keep stuff aside that I want to sell that's really going to be the easiest way of me doing it so yeah let's do this <laughs> I think I'm done. Um, it is now coming up to midnight. Let me take you off the tripod and show you my progress so far. <laughs> oh, what a day. I took a break for about three hours. I had some lunch, I went out, I came back home. Um, but yeah, then I came back to tidying and I mean, it's definitely an improvement from this morning. I will quickly pan the camera around in a minute and show you. There's still a bit more that needs to be done. Let me show you my progress so far. So unfortunately, I had to take the products off and put them back on this table because these are just products that I need to test and there's nowhere really for me to put them just yet. Hopefully soon I will be able to like free up some storage in the drawers and put them away but I've managed to clean up the ones off the floor which is something I guess. This is my everyday makeup. I didn't put this away because I'm actually going away again tomorrow night for a few days so that's just all packed ready to go these um drawers i didn't do much to these they're looking a little bit tidier ignore the can of coke i needed some um caffeine to keep me going <laughs> this is looking much tidier god i didn't do anything to like the um what's it called the brushes on the wall i need to clean the mirrors but i'll do that tomorrow because they are very very dusty i've actually sorted out all of my eyeshadow palettes so they all fit there which is perfect i mean i say that but I have, I think, two or three more drawers full of eyeshadows, but these are like my favourite ones. This is my skincare and hair care that I'm currently using, slash is almost finished, um, as is this. 
that's just my glasses for when I take my contacts off in a little while. Um, and over here on this side, I found this little marble tray. So I, on there, I've just emptied out some new makeup products. They're like primers and setting sprays, I think. I haven't tried any of them apart from the quarterly one. They're all brand new from a little Sephora gift set I got a few months ago. And a couple of dirty beauty blenders that need to be washed. These brushes, I actually got rid of all the brushes that were in there because it was a really cheap set that I bought years and years ago. They just looked really nice, but they were just very scratchy and terrible brushes. So these are actually brushes that I use so that's good and this is just like nighttime skincare and just bits and pieces that doesn't quite have a home yet I think this one was meant to be lip pencils that one's eye pencils and that one's just like miscellaneous like eyelash curlers tweezers scissors um like spatulas pipettes and a lighter to like candles just random stuff like that so I haven't been through all of that but yeah actually I'm very happy with the way this looks so far what I actually did do off camera was I went through all of my lipsticks so I've actually got rid of the ones I don't want and it, I know it looks pretty full still but that's because I had more lipsticks that were in there I still do have more lipsticks that were in there that are in there sorry um but these are the ones that I want to keep and I've got rid of a few. Over on this side, I rolled up the blind. Like, what a big deal. <laughs> um, the table's still here for now. That's all just stuff, like I said, over there. Um, I've just collected some empty boxes over here. This is rubbish and recycling. That needs to be in the recycling. Um, I'm going to get rid of that in a minute. And this stuff is... Oh, my God. This stuff is all my to sell pile so tomorrow not today because it's actually coming up to midnight now i'm gonna get like sort through all of this <laughs> tomorrow and separate like new and used stuff put it into boxes and then when i have time i will list that on either my instagram account on ebay or whatever i'll let you know but i mean just to sort of you know show you i have stuff like mark jacobs charlotte tilbury mac pixie ColourPop, kat von d becca fenty beauty i'm getting rid of a lot of stuff <laughs> so definitely keep an eye out for that if you're in the market for some new makeup so like i said i wasn't really going to touch dress aside and um, i'm not allowed to so i'm just not going to bother so that looks the same um ignore all the mess there but i did do a little bit to this side doesn't really look like it but uh, there's a slight improvement. There's still stuff that definitely needs to go, but yeah, this is it. Oh my god, I'm so tired. It's coming up to midnight. I feel like I've cleaned and tidied on the surface, but I definitely want to do more of like an in-depth, like literally pull out all of my eyeshadows, go through them, pull out all of my lipsticks. I did I did kind of do that with my lipsticks, but put literally pull all of them out. Because this is still like as you can see here and on this shelf that is still far too many lipsticks for one person i do want to do that eventually it won't be anytime soon i want to sell some of the stuff that i have like a girl's got to make money you know like i spend so much money on beauty and yes i am fortunate to be sent a lot of things but you know like that doesn't really pay my bills and i probably spend far more on beauty than like stuff i get sent anyway so yeah i want to try and sell that first then i'll sort through the rest of it but tomorrow i'm going to sort through all the stuff on that table so i'm not going to end this video just here i will come back tomorrow and like kind of show you the finished thing really quickly <laughs>
Okay, let's do this. Can you see that this room is looking so much better? It took me much longer than I thought it would, but I'm very pleased with the way that it's turned out. This is just some blog and mail that I've recently been sent, so I've put that there because I don't actually know where to store these brushes and I need to like test these out first anyway. And this is also some blog and mail that I've been sent. So as you can see, this is kind of like a an ongoing process and I'm gonna have to like be stricter with myself from like this point forward, <laughs> if you like. Um, this is all the makeup that I've declassed I've kind of sectioned this off into like different piles, so stuff to sell, stuff to give to friends and family, brand new stuff, swatch stuff, things for eBay, Depop, like I kind of know, I have a system in my head, but these boxes are kind of full and I've just kept another big box just in case I have like another declutter and need somewhere to store things. <laughs> I haven't done anything on this side like I promised I wouldn't. Um, it's annoying me though because this is obviously like the messiest corner <laughs> of the house, but I will leave that for just to sort out. This is kind of driving me mad as well because I mean there's nothing I can do about this if someone has like maybe any storage tips on how to store soft boxes I think it's the soft boxes that annoy me the most because they stick out the most the ring light and the tripod is actually fine but I just don't want to pack them away because I know that I'll never really use them if I pack them away it's just too much hassle to like unpack them every time I want to use them and to be honest we kind of have these blinds closed a lot of the time anyway I haven't done anything to this bookcase but I have sort of tidied this corner up a little bit put the stuff that was in bags into that suitcase that suitcase is actually very very full with clothes and all that stuff needs to go on ebay at some point and i don't really know what to do with that um but i will save that for another day i've tidied this area up as well as you can see i got rid of that huge pile of boxes that was up here that needs to go once i filmed my empties video that was a storage box that was underneath my table which has just got like random bits and pieces in. Again, this is blog and mail I've been sent, and this is like Jess and I when we first met. It's a very odd picture, don't quite know where to put that yet, but I've also sorted this out as best I can. I kind of just have a collection of bags that like I just use to carry my laptop in if I need to like go to Starbucks or a coffee shop to work in and I've tidied this up I did put these two boards here but they're not going to stay they're going to have to go back there just because they're too big and they stick out I got rid of the tripod as well I managed to sort of squeeze that behind the printer so that was quite good but yes I'm very happy with my progress like I keep saying eventually I will work my way through this blogger mail and that blogger mail and that and the stuff behind me and find homes for it once I've managed to sort of sell slash get rid of donate all of that stuff then I'm gonna actually go through all the stuff that's in my drawers because I know there's a lot of stuff in here that I need to get rid of too like look how many brushes I have for example there's like those three pots up there there's loads of pots down there there's a brush kit in that all the new ones I've been sent all of these and these are like literally my everyday ones in this glossier pouch so I have a ton of brushes and I definitely don't use that many so I'm gonna have to do something but for now I'm just really happy this room's tidy so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video I hope you found it helpful in some way maybe it's like inspired you to clean out your Monica closet and um, let me know in the comments down below I would love to know if you kind of want more of these videos not that I have any rooms that are messier than this <laughs> this was definitely the worst so yeah leave me a comment down below let me know what you think tell me if you want to see like me sorting through all of this it won't be anytime soon but at some point in the future because then if you do want to see it I will bear that in mind and yeah thank you so much for watching I will see you next time bye